Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I am your gardener friend Ruchi and today we are going to discuss manual pollination in bottle goats. We have this bottle goat vine spreading all over and uh, uh, you can see one bottle goat forming over there. So, but sometimes you must have noticed that uh, a small bottle goats appear and then they drop off like this one uh, this behind this flower Be yes that one which has this dry flower in the front so that is turning yellow so it's going to fall off because it didn't get pollinated if it pollinates then it will start to grow and like this one and uh, it will form a full bottle coat so if this is happening once in a while there's nothing you need to do but if it is happening most of the times then maybe you can uh, try manual pollination and I'll show you how. So the first step is that you have to be able to recognize the male flask and the female flask. Uh, the same wine, I mean every bottle gourd wine has both the flask, the male and the female ones. And interestingly the male flowers open first so that they start attracting the pollinators and then the female flowers open so that the pollinators are already there and you know no uh, female flower uh, goes to waste so let me show you the difference between the two uh, on the vine so if you look at these flowers these flowers are you know simple flowers they don't have a long ovary in the back now if you look at the other one this one you see a, a, you know almost like a bottle gourd uh, uh, below the flower so this is the ovary so this is the female flower and this one which doesn't have that ovary is the male flower the second step is that you take a q-tip uh, you know a normal q-tip and you rub it uh, in the center of the male flower where the stamen is where the pollens are you know the yellow portion in the middle of the flower so that some of the pollens are transferred to the q-tip then you take the same q-tip and you rub it in the middle of the female flower in the stigma so what will happen is that some of the pollens will get transferred from q-tip to the stigma of the female flower or the middle portion of the female flower and the pollination should happen so you look uh, in the middle you know that's stamen is there i can actually break this apart a little bit doesn't matter and gently rub this on this now if you focus on this is it focused so you know the pollens have come right now Okay, now look at this flower do you see the stigma so this yellow thing in the middle and I have the pollens in this so I'm going to gently just rub it all over the place that's what bees do you know when they hop from flower to flower basically And that's it so if this pollination was successful uh, we will see that uh, that small ovary uh, behind the flower it will start growing and if it was not successful it will start to turn yellow and eventually it will fall off you know the way uh, the earlier uh, you know the small uh, yellow ovary that I had shown you earlier because it didn't get pollinated so it will probably fall off within a week or so so um, I'll uh, report in a week and show you, you know, how it is progressing whether it was successful or not successful by the way timing is very important in this case because these flowers each of these flowers they open for one day only so if you want to do manual pollination and if you see a female flower opening you should do it immediately otherwise you know the flower will wither away and that window would have 
closed. So it's been four days that we pollinated this one and the flower has withered away but uh, the gourd has started growing. It's about three inches long right now. The other day when we uh, did the pollination it was about an inch long. And the other one which was drying out is almost brown now and it's going to fall off any day now. And this branch because of the weight of this gourd is actually uh, uh, it's, it's uh, drooping uh, because of the weight of this gourd. So I mean as you can see that it is pretty simple just take the pollen from the male flower and uh, put it on the female flower and uh, it should just work. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.